Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week... This is technically eight of, um... WWC, your Chicago Bear Ticks are taking on Jake, Lord Ixie, and the Philadelphia Phantoms. Really looking forward to this. I love battling Jake. It's always fun. Why is this week eight? Why are you seeing this a week after, um... A week after week six, where's the bye week? Uh, the bye week happened the week before I had surgery. So I switched my, I talked to Jake about it and he and I agreed to switch our bye week. He and I are giving up our bye week after week six. We're gonna play week eight as week seven and then he and I will have bye week eight. Um, just so I can get the video, because otherwise I have two weeks where I don't have a WWC video coming out instead of one so you're seeing week eight during what would have been the bye week um time slot and then you'll see week nine during when it's supposed to go out uh, like normal so i will have a bye week it's just it'll be the week i'm recovering so i don't have to play don't have to upload don't have to think about it i can recover from knee surgery and get off the super 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 strong pain pills and can go back to building and recording with this thing and not this thing on drugs yeah so anyways uh we're three and three minus seven i would like to get a win and get my differential up playing jake's always difficult though because technically he should have never lost to me but he choked at the end of the last time we played so if i could beat him here without him choking that'd be nice sorry jake uh we're rocking out with mega Medi. KB, uh, Mim, Infinite, Manaphy, Jolt, Nido King, Mandibuzz, who for some goddamn reason is a kill leader. Mandibuzz and Mimi, or Manaphy are my top two kills. Um, Whimsicott, Licky Licky, Meganium, and Corsola. Jake has a very interesting team that I helped him rebuild. Um, he's got Tapulele, Zara Aura. Damn it, Jake. Why do you always gotta take my toys? Um, Florgis, Charizard X. Damn it, Jake. Why you always gotta take my toys? Um, Tornadus, Keldeo, Bronzong, Kamala, Decid Nido Queen, Decidueye, Sableye. Damn it, Jake. Why you always gotta take my toys? And Braviari. Um, Jake's had a rough season. Like, really rough season. Um, his Rancor original team was not very good, unfortunately, and I just didn't help him fit draft right, and I feel bad about that. But his team's better now. I helped him rebuild it. I burned all of my free agent moves to do that. So, yeah. But let's jump into the team now. First off, come on. Thank you, Mouse. We're dragging it all the way over. Come on. There we go. Get that adjusted. So, first up, Mega Metagross. Obviously, it needs to carry Ice Punch, or not Ice Punch, Meter Mash. Uh, Tapu Lele and Florges both go, are both Spadef. Um, Spadef, high Spadef, but lower defense. So, Physical Mega Medi with Meter Mash should rip through both of them. Unless Jake makes them super, super bulky both. I can't bring Bullet Punch because Lele's priority, or Psychic Surge, um, stops priority. So it has to be Meteor Mash. Earthquake to stop. Um, Zara Aura. Um, Nido Queen. Zara Aura doesn't probably come in on this thing, I don't think. But Earthquake definitely hits. If he's uh, Levitate Bronzong, it won't hit that, but it will hit Levitate Bronzong. Nido Queen doesn't want to take Earthquakes. Um, Charizard wants it. Megas doesn't want to take it. Um, so having the Earthquake there, that's why. Um, Ice Punch is for Decidueye trying to check in. Also hits Neo Queen pretty decently. Um, hits Tornadus if it's wanting to come in and um, uh, T-Wave me or something. Um, Sableye can come in on this thing and just screw me over pretty easily. But um, And then Agility. So why am I Agility? First off, I'm 3-3-0 speed, Jolly. Because I outspeed Charizard at base. And then if I can pop the agility on the Charizard switch in, 
to this thing, I'm faster than plus two Charizard. And I can two-shot it before it can get me with um, Flare Blitz. Because I'm super damn bulky. Base 150 defense, and then the extra bulk into HP. Um, I wish I could run Adamant, but I can't. Because I want to stay faster than that Zard. Um, and getting off an agility would be huge. I could have been Magnet Rise again, like I was last... Or two weeks ago, or something like that, but... I think agility is probably better here, just to get my... Plus, I'd get faster than Zeraora at that point. Get an Earthquake, because um, Zeraora can still hurt me with a Dark EMZ, um, or a Phytinium Z, potentially. Um, obviously, Decidueye can come in. Ice Punch is really there for Decidueye, um, trying to sneak in on me. Yeah, I'm going to skip over Mimikyu, because Mimikyu was the last mod I built, and it kind of had a weird matchup. Um, I am Choice Scarfed, Mixed, Kiram Black, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, and Iron Head. Again, Mixed because Florgis and um, Lele are Spadef monsters. So Flash Cannon is going to do next to nothing to them, whereas Iron Head is a guaranteed Oko on the Lele and a two-shot on the Florgis, and neither one of those can really do a ton to me unless he's specced on either one of them. Um, Ice Beam is there because a lot of his team doesn't appreciate it. Um, Torn doesn't like it. Queen doesn't like it. Decidueye doesn't like it. Bravieri doesn't like it. Um, Fusion Bolt is for the Keldeo. I cannot freely choice lock myself into... Fusion Bolt until Zeraora is dead, because I do not want to feed Zeraora a Fusion Bolt and heal it. Earth Power is for the Zeraora, because that is probably his check into Kiram Black, especially if he knows I'm Scarfed. Because he can go Zeraora and then pretty freely Volt Switch or fire off damage on Nidoking. Because um, he won't freely be able to Volt Switch until Nidoking dies. Um. So Earth Powering that is really, really nice. Earth Powering the Zard is really, really nice. Uh, if Bronzong is not Levitate, I can Earth Power that. Neo Queen doesn't really appreciate the Earth Power either. Um, so that's kind of where that's at. Um, I am max speed because it forces a speed tie with... Um, or I'm stuck in a speed tie with uh, Lele. So if you bring Scarf Lele and he hits me first, I know he's max speed um, timid. Uh, I split the attack and the special attack stat because there was no way to guarantee Oko's with max attack and still be able to have the special side. So I bumped the special side a little more because it's lower base, but mainly um, I just that's where the EV spread was is I just split the remaining stat for attack and special attack. Mandibuzz here, which is designed to be annoying, though this is Ard X, Foul Play, Iron Defense, Roost, and U-Turn. This is a standard... Well, normally I carry Defog. Um, I don't have Defog this week, which is really, really scary because he can T-Spike stack me if King dies, um, and he can rock me. Um, but I'm gonna, for I'm gonna try and get rocks up right away and force him to Defog because otherwise Zard is basically useless. Um, so he won't be able to, especially if Kamala doesn't come. If there's no Kamala, I set rocks immediately and force him to defog his rocks away from me because he doesn't want Zard getting clipped. Um, which is why I was willing to let Mandibuzz not carry it. That way I could use turn and pivot. Um, Roost, obviously, for longevity. Iron defense, so his physical attackers cannot break me. Uh, Zara won't be able to break me. Uh, Charizard won't be able to break me. Um, Decidueye, if it's physical, won't be able to break me. He's going to have to bring in a special attacker like Lele and Florgis, and at that point, or Keldeo, and at that point, I just you turn around into King, Meta, Gaby, whatever I need to pivot into, which is why I'm carrying the pivot. Uh, foul play is going to crush Charizard. 
especially if it de-dances. Let me just show you the calc on, the calc on this thing. I cannot freely go into Zard. I have to sack something to get Mandy in. I do know that much. Calc. Damage calculator. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Thank you, slow internet. Paste. Import. Thank you. Only that. And the buzz. Jars are X. Just standard DDX X. Uh, there you go. Flare Blitz is a two shot. Maybe uh, ninety percent chance to two shot. My file play is a ninety percent chance to two shot. And if he goes plus one, uh, he's still not doing enough for me to clip him. Um, his recoil combined with my hit will kill him. Unless, nope, it kills him. Twenty nine and. 71 it round up or it always rounds down so 71 and 29 so if i min rolled um and he min rolled he'd still die to mandibuzz file play so yeah literally just sitting there with mandibuzz and if i go plus two defense um nothing Mandibuzz is literally the Dragon Slayer. It took out a Zygarde. It took out a Mega Ments. I'm going after Mega Zardex now. That's literally what I've been using Mandibuzz this season. Is to take out these Dragon Dancers. Rocky Helmet for Chip. Um, as well. Just to hurt him. Um, he'd have to bring Special Zara Aura. Over Physical. Because I will just eat him alive. Like this. Needle King, just standard Sheer Force Life Orb. Um, Earth Power Sludge Wave T Bolt Flamethrower. I wish I could carry another move, but I can't. Um, Earth Power hits Zara Aura. Earth Power hits Zard once Mega. Earth Power hits Queen. Earth Power hits a non Levitate Bronzong. Um, Sludge Wave clips both Florges and. Tapu Lele, it's two shotting them because they're so specially bulky already. So I will not be able to stay in on Lele. I will have to pivot or switch out right away into Metagross or something, and I'll have to scout for an HP fire in there somewhere. Like my team just gets blown back by Lele. Um, the way I built it this week. Um, T Bolt is there for Keldeo trying to switch in on me. Um, Again, I cannot freely do that with Zero Aura there. Then Flamethrower is for Bronzong and Decidueye. If he is Levitate um, Bronzong, then I just Flamethrower him to death. Um, yeah. Speed stat-wise, I am faster than Florges at max speed. I am faster than Needle Queen at max speed. Um, biggest issue is he just drops a Tailwind and I'm screwed off a of torn but you know it is what it is uh corsla is actually coming my other options for rockers just didn't have a good uh, um good matchup corsla was also the only other thing that could take a hit from zard besides carrying a focus sash um and it barely takes a hit from zard should have left calcs open but it gives me another Mon to just take a hit. Um, versus Zard I, in Zara Aura. I fully expect him because he knows that I love Zara Aura and I love Zard. They're, Zard's my favorite Pokemon. Zara Aura is my favorite Mon to use in Draft League. And so he's going to... Um, he's going to bring both and he's going to try and beat me with one or the other so there you go earthquakes a two shot on this but i can toxic i can get my rocks up um i actually could unless he de-dances on me um i could just sit there and spam recover over and over and over again um because i'll only lose eight percent at a time and he has to take multiple rocky helmet hits and the second that he de-dances, I go for Toxic. And then 
he dies to Toxic Chip. Um, Rocky Helmet's also good for Zero Aura. Granted, Zero Aura just blows me back. Um, yeah, Plasma Fist will kill me. Close combat will kill me. But I still chip him 12%. Um, get my rocks up. This is my only rocker. Uh, max defense. Similar, it's basically the same set as Mandy. I'm max defense, max HP. Um, just to wall out his Zard and his Zero Aura. Like I said, Mimikyu, last Mon, really, it's, again, the same speed stat as Nidoking, um, out speeding-wise. I wasn't going to try and force a speed tie with, uh, or plus one speed on the, uh, Lele, um, Shadow Sneak I couldn't do anyways, and being one speed point faster isn't going to really matter to me, because Lele would have to Shadow Ball me back, and if it breaks my disguise with Shadow Ball, um, then I get the hell out of dodge, or I just go for the Shadow Claw behind um, my disguise, the Z Shadow Claw. We're a Ghost Z, um, so I can take out Bronzong, potentially, with uh, Mimikyu, depending on how he builds his Bronzong. I could uh, Ghost Z Shadow Claw it. Uh, play rough for Zard and Sableye. This thing is going to pretty much invite Needle Queen in every single time, is the biggest issue. So, I don't have a move to hit Needle Queen. I'm just going to have to go for damage and then get out. Because um, each time Needle Queen just comes in on this thing and puts pressure on me. Because I'm kind of forced into Mandibuzz. Um, or Curum every time Needle Queen comes in. Um, I am bulk up because I think bulking up and that will help me long run because I can take out Zard a little easier with the bulk up over SDing. Um, don't really care enough though. Should I just SD instead of bulk up? I think I'm just going to SD instead of bulk up. I don't think it matters. Mimikyu had such a weird matchup, but I felt like I had to bring it because his team is stupid ghost weak. He's got one, two, three, four mons that are weak to ghost. Paste, import, okay. Mim. Charizard. Dancing Zard. Uh, actually, I think it did matter. That's why I was bulk up yeah okay so that's why i was bulk up because he can't kill me and if i go he still two shots me though but that's why because it made it so czar didn't guarantee kill me at base but does that really matter because he just if he's plus one he still beats me I'm gonna stick with Swords Dance, it doesn't really matter. And then Facade, because for some reason, like I said, I threw a last move on, because I couldn't think of something. I debated Destiny Bond, I debated Screens, I debated Taunt, or T Wave, or Toxic, Willow, potentially, and I was like, nah, there's nothing really to do there. So I grabbed Facade to take out, um, or to deal with that stupid Sableye because either Sableye or Bronzong is going to toxic me or will wisp me just to screw me over. So, you know, having Facade, which doesn't care if I'm burned or paralyzed or poisoned because it doubles, and everybody seems to think Mimikyu is such a threat that they have to uh, go ahead and paralyze it or poison it or burn it. I don't know why people think they need to do that, but they do. So, I'll just facade hit them. And then they'll pu be punished for that. So, but yeah, that's the team builder. Um, hopefully we pick up a win. Sorry, Jake, I kind of need the win to keep my playoff hopes going and stay in command because then I'll drag the dock back over here now. Um, 
week standings. Um, I am last in my division. Substantially last in my division. I am second to last in my conference because for some reason I am in the conference that has everybody at 4-2. and two. Whereas if I was in the other conference, I'd be third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'd be sixth in the other conference, over seven. So, but I'd be close to leaving my division here. No, not really. I, I'm kind of in the bottom right now. I need the, uh, I need the victory to help. But yeah, with all that being said, um, I'm going to get out of here now because i got to go play Jake at some point and i got to need a break because I've recorded like, oh god, at this point I'm two hours deep into recording, I think. So, see you guys next time. Check out the links in the description down below. Bye.